All along, it seemed like this case was moving along much faster than both sides had anticipated. And today we found out that the state is planning to rest their case by midweek next week, which means deliberation could begin at the end of next week or the beginning of the following. Today, the state called witnesses to the stand who used technology and science to help prove their case. First, a member of the FBI who analyzed James Worley's flip phone data, as well as Sierra Joggins' smartphone data. His analysis showed that their phones were near each other the night Sierra went missing for over an hour. These phones were in the general area of each other. Remember, the spreadsheets don't tell me exactly where the phone is. It, it's in these general areas. Um, so they, these phones on different networks were in the same general area at the same general time. Also to take the stand today, an investigator for Ohio's Bureau of Criminal Investigation. She was responsible for testing several items police collected from Worley's property and the farm field where Sierra went missing, as well as the one her body was found. She looked for blood and semen. Several of the items police submitted did test positive for bodily fluids, including this motorcycle helmet. So in this case, you've got a positive result, and that tells you, tells you what? That it's human, um, heme direct positive human blood. At this time, the jury does not know if that blood was of Sierra or James Worley. Another member of BCI will testify to those results. Correct. Now, at this time, the jury has not been sequestered. They've been allowed to go home. But according to court documents, that is an option come deliberation time. Once the jury begins deliberating, they could possibly be sent to a hotel overnight until they reach that verdict. Reporting in Fulton County, Michelle Zapata, WTOL 11.